I'm uh, Stephen Rowan and I'm one of the producers of the Love Street the Movie DVD. We're here today at Love Street for the last ever match here. It's against Motherwell, uh, it's over 10,000 sell out today. It's Saturday the 3rd of January 2009 and we're here for the last ever match at the famous old ground here in Paisley. I think it's brilliant. Um, they're, uh, they're going, they're leaving a, a stadium that's lasted them for over 100 years and they're going to a brand new stadium. They're not in any debt. They've won their last four games, probably going to win five in a row, maybe going into the top six. So everything down in Paisley's roses just now. How do you feel about the last game at Love Street today, Mark? Oh, it's very emotional, but I mean, the club has to move on, you know. Um, it's a fantastic move, new stadium. Um, I mean, disappointing that they're having to move on, but no. Uh, all good things come to an end and today it's going to be the end of Love Street. Jerry Baker, yes. you are a Love Street legend. How do you feel about the last game here at Love Street? A bit sad, a bit sad. It's funny how it's say uh, the my two old clubs, you know, like the mother mother or came to you. It's a bit but it's say uh, park's looking great. The pitch is looking great. So I don't know what to say about the score. You know, What's your prediction? A draw. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been coming to Love Street now? I'm 86 and I came for five year old. How do you feel about the last game of the season today, uh, the last well, game here at Love Street? I think Street? I'll be crying today. We tear in the eye? Oh, there'll be tears in my eye without a doubt, you know. What's your best memories? Someone won the cup 1958-59. And uh, Jerry Beaker's up there, great player, great centre forward. Tommy Wilson on him, 87, great people. I've enjoyed myself at Love Street. Very much indeed, but I think now that uh, we've got a great manager and I think we're going places. Well, you're a legend among Sydney fans, so well, we wish you all the best. Well, I've got, I've got a photo in the tail bar. Yeah, a photo similar to the a legend, Jimmy McIntosh. You, know. you are a legend, you're okay. a Sydney legend, okay, so all the best. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'll be a sad occasion because it's a great surface to play on out there. Obviously, the atmosphere would be great as well, playing here in, in front of you. Oh, a crowd. Of, about 10,000 or something. You know, we done that the last game we won the league here. You know, it's brilliant. There is a good wee atmosphere. It's a great part to play on. You know, so it'll be, it'll be a sad day for everybody here. Time was have just gone, it's nil nil, fairly even first half, so all to play for the second. One of the boys decided we'd pay tribute to one of the best ever Saman players, obviously, Tony Fitzpatrick. So we all um, we ordered t shirts. Oh, yes. That's seven on the back. And, uh, and obviously the moustache, it's no real by the way. Um, so we thought it was a fitting tribute to the to one of our best ever players in the last eight years. So, how do you feel about the last game here at Love Street today? It's really sad, obviously, for people like him. He's been coming here since he was like three year old, so it's really, really hard, and it's sad to see it go. But we've got to move on and look forward to the next stadium. Very emotional. Uh -huh. <laughs> very, very emotional. We're looking forward to going to a new stadium, but it's a very emotional day. What's your highlight of your time coming here to Love Street? Oh, it's glad to be winning the league. Aye, in 2000. 3-0 against Wraith Rovers, that was the best game. Sad. Sad. The only thing we're looking forward to at the new ground is decent toilets. Five minutes to go, still 0 no -no, so all to play for and a very sort of tense, nervous atmosphere here at Love Street.
Well, do you know, uh, it was really weird because I was driving here today and I was feeling okay and, I, and I turned in off Inchinnan Road into Love Street and uh, I got very, very emotional. But bizarrely enough, I, uh, I was kind of losing it in the car as I was driving along here and I, I brought my camera with me to, so I could think about other things, about taking photographs and rather than think about what's going on here. But it's a really tough day, actually, I think, for all St. Mirren fans. You know, people who've been coming here for a long, long time, maybe come here with their parents or their grandparents or whatever. I'm not one of them. I was brought along by someone else because my dad wasn't really uh, into football. He was more into rugby. But I've just got such great uh, memories of being here as a fan. I used to come here when the, when the uh, Speedway was here as well. I was here for the Pe Festival of Paisley Trophy when Ivan Major had his gold bike just there. And I saw Sid Sheldrick beating him. And it was mighty. I was sitting just over there. But uh, it's a joy. And it's good. I mean, I think St. Mirren people... Uh, you know, know what it's like to have good times because they can really enjoy the good times but they also know what it's like to suffer the bad times and I think we can all sort of have those memories today and uh, let's focus on the good times and let's hope for more good times at the new stadium. I think you could say it's an uh, emotional occasion for the people that have supported St Mirren all their days and uh, you know everybody accepts that you have to uh, move on but uh, still sad from that point of view but uh, as I say I think uh, you know times move on and, and the new stadium I think will uh, ensure the, the future of St Mirren for many years to come that's the most important thing. Emotional. I'm trying my best not to uh, shed a few tears, but it's going to happen in a few minutes. Unfortunately, 30th of January, like two years ago, when my dad passed away. And uh, I know you'd have loved to have been here for the last, last game, game ever. He's beloved St. Mum, you know what I mean? Absolutely. But uh, I'll be missing. Very emotional. Um, it's really been. Um, wonderful. <laughs> Just, I wish they had won today, yeah. that was all. So, yeah, it's been, it's been great, but never mind. How long have you been a St Mirren fan? Oh, my dad was um, brought us up being St Mirren. He came from Ibrox and didn't, he broke away from that. And so um, all the family, all the Proctor family have all become St Mirren fans through my dad, you know. So this is for my, my dad. So very emotional, as you can see. So, so. <laughs> Have a nice day. I think Bill here is probably the only man to see three St Martin Cup wins. We've won it three times. He's seen all three of them. First one was 1926, uh -huh. then 59, then 87. So. And when I was nine years old, my grandfather took me down in 1926 to do here to see them uh, get rid of out of the cup. You know, I, I wasn't going to the football then. But the, the two, the grandpa took me down and I ah, sat in the room over there somewhere, you know, and they, they paraded the cup. That was the first time they won it. I've been coming here for a long, long time, as is all the family, and we're just so upset today. So, but we're just hoping good things for the future. <laughs> it's a private moment. Uh, how you doing? All right, all right. How do you feel, buddy? Oh, it's, it's choking, isn't it? It's not all by, and it went a wee bit. The game was flat, but. Oh, it was a, it's a hard, it's been hard, just the whole build up and now I'm just looking down there, you know, shirts and scarves on the centre spot and it's hard to believe I'm not coming back here. OK, well that's it, it's all over, finished nil-nil, but in the end the, the score today didn't matter. What, what did matter was the sense of atmosphere and occasion that the 10,000 fans enjoyed here at Love Street. So with that, it, it signals the end of 115 years football here at St Mirren Park in Love Street and uh, the, the end has finally come.